guys, it's Judy here with My Life as Geek Eye. On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join the Geek Eye family. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial using the Juvia's Place Afrique collection. I'm really excited to use these guys. Like, I received them several weeks ago, and I just have not had a chance to film with them. Actually, I have had a chance. I just I have been a little bit down in the dumps recently, so I haven't applied any creative makeup on my face in a while, but today's the day I've said I'm going to get out of my comfort zone and apply some really colorful shades on my face today. As you can see, this has some really bright shades here. Blue I haven't really used on my eyes for a while. Orange and green and yellow. Not something I apply on my eyes very often, so this is going to challenge me today. As usual, when I'm trying out eyeshadow palettes from a collection, I do try and use every single shade in the palette, but I don't know how I'll go with this one because there are some shimmery burgundy shades in here as well. But we'll see how I go. I'll see what kind of look I come up with. The Afrique collection from Juvia's Place also comes with two blushes. This one is Serafina and this is what it looks like. It's showing up on camera a lot more vibrant pink than it really is. It's really more of a really peachy, corally sort of blush. The other blush is called Bella, and this is what it looks like. It's a lot deeper in tone on camera than it really is in the pan, or more vibrant, should I say, but I could probably get away with using some of this blush on my cheeks just really, really lightly, but we'll see how I go. I'll probably end up using Serafina for today's look, but we'll see which blush I end up using. Maybe I'll put a little bit of both on my cheeks. The liquid lipstick in the Afrique collection is this shade right here. It's called Afrique and it's a really beautiful, vibrant red. If you've been here on my channel for a while, you know that I love my bright red lips, so I'm really excited to try this one. So yeah, if you guys wanna see the look that I come up with using this Afrique collection by Juvia's Place, then just keep on watching. Now you can see my big ass forehead, but that's okay. You're now up close and personal, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. First off, as usual, I'm going to start by priming my eyelids with some concealer. This one is the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Pomade Concealer, and it's a little bit light for me, and that's what I want because I'm going to be applying some really vibrant colors on top, and the lighter the base, the more the colors on top will stand out. Now I'm going to set that down with some translucent setting powder. Okay, first I'm going to go into the shades Cameroon and Kisi and just mix them together and use that as a transition shade in my crease. Using a slightly smaller blending brush, I'm going to go into the shade Binto and apply that tightly into my crease as well as part of my transition shade. Ooh, that's pigmented! I'm not going to blow it out as much as I did the first two shades. I'm just going to keep that tightly into my crease. Because I want the vibrant colors that I'm going to be placing on my lid to stand out a whole lot more, I'm going to go in with my NYX Glitter Primer. This one doesn't have any color to its base. And I know it's a glitter primer, but it really helps to make eyeshadows that you place on top of it stand out a whole lot more. Especially since the colorful shades that I'm going to be placing on my lid are the matte shades, I just want to apply a little bit more reinforcement to ensure that that pigmentation really shows up. Although, I mean, let's be real here, this is a dubious place, so you probably don't really need this, but it's just from my peace of mind that it's going to stick <laughs> and show up to work. So I've just taken a little bit of that NYX glitter primer on this flat tipped packing brush here and I'm going to apply that all over my lid just to provide a sticky base for those matte shades I'm going to be placing on top. I'm going to take this really really tiny, it's really a lip brush but I just want to take this tiny tipped brush just so that I can be really precise as to where I place the colors. I'm going to go into the shade Aya and apply that right on the inner corners of my eyes. Now I'm going to go into the shade Dakar and apply that right next to the yellow, sort of gradient effect it into the yellow. But first I'm laying down the color and then I'm going to go in with the yellow to gradient it into the orange. Like so, I'm going into the shade Aya, 
And I'm just gonna slightly blend the yellow into the orange. Now I'm gonna go into the shade Niger and use that and apply that right alongside the shade Dakar. And again, I'm just going to place the color down and then gradient the orange into the green. Now I'm going to take some of that orange again and gradient that into the green. Now I'm going to go into the bright blue shade, the Conte di Viore. I think that's how you say it, Conte di Viore. I'm going to take that blue shade and apply that right on the outer corners of my eyes. Dang, she pigmented or whatever. Now I'm going to take a small fluffy tip blending brush, take that into the shade Conte di Viore and blend that out on the outer corner of my eye. Okay, I know it looks kind of horrible right now, but everything always comes together when you apply mascara and liner. I'm probably gonna put lashes on as well because I'm feeling extra today, or trying to feel extra today. I'm gonna take the shade Cotonou and apply that above the entire transition all over this area here. Not sure how I feel about that, but anyway, I'm just going to blend out those edges. All right, with some makeup remover on a cotton pad, I'm going to clean up all of that fallout under the eyes. Then I'm going to do my foundation and concealer off camera. Then we'll be back and finish off the look. Now we are back with foundation, concealer, powder, and bronzer on. I'm going to finish off the eyes before I finish off the rest of my face. First, I'm going to use a white eyeliner in my waterline. And then using a very fine tipped angled brush, this one's just an eyebrow brush, I'm going to go into the shade Togo and apply that very, very tightly to the lower lash line. Just on the outer part of the eye here. And just like the upper lid, I'm going to gradient these colors together. So I'm going to go in with Togo on the outer corner. Then I'm going to go in with Fifi next. Then I'm going to go in with Cotonou next. Then Fiji, then Kofi, and then the shade Angelique. And just side by side them all along the lower lash line until I get to the inner corner. taking that fluffy blending brush, this is the same one that I used for the orange and yellow, I'm going to go into the shade Angelique and blend that out very strongly in the inner corner of my eye. I'm going to take some of that shade Coffee, this shimmery gold one, and reapply that on the inner corner of my under eye. Because it's such a pretty shimmery gold color, I kind of want it to stand out a little bit more. I'm going to take that into the corner where the yellow was as well. The yellow is kind of like faded out into just like a black boring sort of yellow so I'm just going to apply some of that shimmery shade coffee on top. Now I'm going to take some of that yellow shade Aya and blend that out under the lower lash line. I'm going to take some of that shade Dakar as well and blend that out under the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take some of that blue shade again and re-enhance the blue on the outer corners of my eyes. Because I have such a large space between my eyebrow and my actual eyelid, and when my eyes are open you generally can't see very much color on my eyelids, I kind of want to make the most of the space that I have between there and there and really make some of that color stand out. Looking a little bit crazy, but I'm hoping that liner and lashes will make it look a little bit less crazy. So now I'm going to go into the shade Angelique and use that as an underbrow highlight. I'm going to do liner, lashes, mascara off camera and I'll be right back. 
Okay, now I'm back with lashes on and I'm not quite sure how I feel about them. They look a little bit spiky and they just cover the look entirely, but they're the only ones I have. So they're gonna have to do. If you hate them, just know that I do as well. <laughs> so I've just put liner, lashes, and mascara. I wanna sort of thicken up the lower lash line lashes as well, just so that it kind of matches the monstrosities that I have going on on my upper lash line as well. Okay, let's move along with this look. Next, I'm going to go in with the Serafina blush. This one's probably more suited to my skin tone, so I'm just gonna apply some of that on my cheeks. That is so pretty. Such a pretty blush. Now for highlight. I wanna go into this shade Angelique and use that as a highlight on my face. But before I do that, I'm going to apply some setting spray. Now I'm gonna take that shade Angelique on my makeup sponge and apply that on the high points of my face. That uh, highlight is probably a little bit too icy for my skin tone, but it's done now, so I'm just gonna have to roll with it. <laughs> For the lips, I am going to use the Juvia's Place Matte Lipstick in the shade Afrique. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so this is the finished look. Now, I have a few things to say about the Afrique collection. The blush I love. It applied really, really nicely. It blended out really nicely as well. The lipstick, bomb. I have tried Juvia's Place lipsticks before and they're actually really, really good. Normally, I would go in first with a lip liner before I applied this sort of lipstick on top. But this particular formula does not bleed through my lines like a lot of lipsticks would. It is a matte lipstick, so those of you who struggle with super dry lips might not enjoy this particular formula. The palette itself, I must say, is an absolutely gorgeous palette. I mean, look at the packaging, look at the colors. I must admit that the matte shades I found a little bit difficult to work with. You had to really build and build and build them up to get any sort of pigmentation as far as the matte shadows go. The shimmer ones, I can't complain. Juvia's Place shimmer shadows are just the bomb. Like they apply beautifully, they stay really well, they stay really vibrant. But I must say that the matte shades in this palette were a little bit more difficult to work with. It just took a little bit of patience to build up the colors on my eyes. As far as the color family goes, I know it is quite daunting. I myself, who loves to do colorful makeup looks on my eyes, I was actually quite challenged to use every single shade in this palette on my eyelids to create this look. But I got there eventually. I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. I think it's just the eyelashes are throwing me off a little bit. But even without eyelashes, I wasn't quite sure about the entire look. So I wanna know what you guys think of this look. Do you love it? Do you hate it? I kinda love hate it. Yeah, <laughs> I think it might be the lashes that's throwing me off. But here's what it looks like close up. These lashes aren't actually anything special. They're just some cheap ones that I bought off Wish. And while the lashes themselves are pretty, they are made of a really, really stiff material, almost like plastic, which is why I think they're just so stiff on my eyes and they feel really uncomfortable as well. So I'm gonna be ripping this off once I finish filming the videos that I have planned for today. So yeah, that's all I have to say about this particular collection. I do love this Afrique palette. I do love Juvia's Place palettes. They're just really, really pretty. And if you like to experiment with color on your eyeshadow looks, then I definitely think that you would be doing yourself a favor by checking out the Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so be sure to turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of those future uploads. You can follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are Life as Geek Guy. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Using a, sl using a lesser fluffy tipped blending brush. Using a slightly fluffier, using a slightly fluffier tipped blending brush. Fluffier blend tip. <laughs> using a slightly smolder, smolder. Fuck!
bin two, bin two. Just I'm gonna take that one. I'm going to go in with 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 my NYX glitter primer. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm going to take. Okay, I'm going to remove and I'm going to finish off the eyes because these. I'm gonna finish off the eyes. Okay, now we are back. Oh my contacts. Okay. Cotonu. Cotonu. I need to exfoliate my lips, man. Dang. Matte lipstick, so some of like super dry lips. I'm going to go in with some blush. It's a freak. Freak in the morning, freak in the evening. What's that song? I don't, I don't know. I don't even know. It's so pretty. Why do you keep going dark? 